Anyway, now we got that out of the way, and again, there are more images to go look at at winnerscoming.net. Let's talk about the latest leg in Kayla Kinnearum's journey through Game of Thrones. Season 4 finale. Season 4 finale. The Children. It's a big one. A lot happens in this one. It did. All over the map we got events going on. <clears throat> Why don't we start... Let's just dive right in. Let's do it. To the big important stuff in King's Landing. Whoa. Where the juiciest stuff happened, I okay. think. Okay. We are diving in. Uh, where do you want to start? I want you to take the lead on this one, Kayla. What jumped out at you? Did, Tyrion went on a little rampage. Did, did you see this kind of rage no, coming from this little tiny No, I man? didn't. I can't blame him, but... Well, so it kind of made me sad, but I get it. It was sad. I, I, I thought they had a nice mix of tones going on in those scenes. Like, I couldn't be mad at him. Like, you know? No, just, I, I understand what you mean. I mean, he's doing horrible things. He, he, he's murdering people. Right. But I, 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 th I think they're including his ex-lover and father. His ex-lover and father, he murders. <laughs> but I, I think they've done a good job of kind of establishing where he's coming from mm -hmm. and who he is. So you don't approve of it, but you kind of understand it. Right. So what happens though? So he, he's in the cell. He's in the cell. Um, Jamie comes to free him. Jamie frees him. Yay, good for like Jamie. Good brother. Um, and he's like, "There's a ship waiting for you. Mm -hmm. Go up the door. Knock help, on it who's with Varys. Assisting. Yes. Um, knock on the door, and they'll take you." And for some reason, he decides to go on a little detour. Take a detour, yeah. To his, his father's, father's room. chambers. The Tower of the Hand. Where he finds... Shay. Shay in bed. Waiting for Tywin. W see that coming? Waiting for Papa Lannister. Oh. Um, I did not see that coming. It made me really sad. It was. Because they... Do you think that they were in love at some at yes. one point? I, I Absolutely. And... He had to do what he had to do. He had to send her away and lie to her so she wouldn't die, which kind of <laughs> was Yeah, pointless. moot at the end of the day. <laughs> um, and I think there was love there. And then she came back and testified against him. That wasn't cool. And then starts hooking up with his dad. And I think the reason she did that was just because, you know... She was mad. She was mad, but also, like, so, so he's, he's tossing her out. I mean, he's saying, I'm doing this to, to protect you. You need to, you need to, you will, you'll die if you stay here. But what she's hearing is, it's another rich guy who's gotten bored with me and cast me aside. I'm, I'm going to have to do what I used to do, True. which is climb the ladder until I find a protector. Okay. And she found, like, the biggest one. Right. Um, so they have words. He strangles her. <laughs> do, do they have words? Not many. Not many. Um... Strangles her and then goes into his father's where was privy it? chamber is what they call it. Oh, okay. Um, He's on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, the medieval toilet. And he goes on to kill his father with a crossbow. Right. After he says the word whore twice, which he is not fond of hearing. No. Could... And then you have to leave after that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, either leave or go out in a blaze of glory, but he chooses to leave. Mm-hmm. Was there any way this could have been avoided? If Ty would have just been nicer in his childhood, maybe? Right. Or, or not been a hypocrite. Remember, Tywin's always saying to him, if I find a whore in your bedchamber, I'll kill her. And now he ends up shacking up with a prostitute? Right. Much less Tyrion's prostitute? Walk the walk. Prostitute slash Shop lover wife? Um, yeah, I don't know how it's avoided. If he hadn't ever said that, then... Shay would have never been sent away. Right. They could have had their relationship. It's a, it's a complicated lattice work of choices led to this point. And it, it's also interesting to just have Tywin, who's, you know, a very serious man, literally be killed with his pants down to the toilet is, a, <laughs> is an, an ignoble end. With a horn in his bed. With a horn in his bed. It had a horn in his bed. We don't see this, but in the books, they like Cersei comes into the bedroom to like look at it, and they're like, "Oh no, gal! Like Dad fell in the toilet. There's some hooker on his bed. This isn't really Whoa. embarrassing." Whoa! We skip that though. Okay, that'd be weird. So that was King's Landing, and now Tyrion, where is he heading? <clears throat> he is on a boat to somewhere. King's somewhere. Landing. The odds are they're gonna cross the narrow sea here and head off to Essos, where Daenerys is located. Ah, okay. Although she's like all the way over here and they're just gonna go a little closer. Okay. Speaking of Essos though, not the only one there. Oh, well also Jamie and Cersei are back together. They are back together. How'd that make you feel? She refused to marry. Loras Tyrell. Loras Tyrell told her dad that Jamie and her 
the rumors are true. They do have children. They were in a relationship. So, so really, it, it, it's for time when it's like all of his children are betraying him in this episode. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Not a good episode for Tywin. No, like some um, more violently than others. But yeah, I mean, she said it. Like, it's true. And then she declared her love for her twin brother. And then they had some special bonding time. Ugh. On a table. Yes. Well. So you do not approve of this. It's bizarre. No, it's, it's, no, it's, it's, weird it's and so disgusting. hard to get on. Yeah. I will say, I, I appreciate that, that the show challenges people like that. That, yes, it's gross. Don't get me wrong. But it's not, if they weren't brother and sister, that scene might play in a different way. Yes. It, it, it doesn't condemn <laughs> it outright. Um, there's always that, so there's no getting around it. It's just, I, I like that they do allow that maybe Jamie and Cersei's feelings for each other are genuine, even though we're sitting back here and going, but that's disgusting. Right. And oh. illegal. <laughs> <laughs> For good reason, because <laughs> you get children like Joffrey, and you don't want those, especially oh, if they're kings. Uh, true. All right, sorry, I interrupted you. Daenerys. Yeah, Tyrion is heading to Essos, where Daenerys is, all the way over here. How is her rule going? Because now we're she, she's in the thick of it. She's kind it's of a not managing well. stuff. Um. So the old man comes to her right and a former slave former she freed. slave she freed and basically asked to go back to his old boss want to be a slave again wants to be a slave again because he doesn't like the way he's being treated yeah, he's um, old in Daenerys and, uh, camp and the younger people are picking on him which is legitimate yeah. so it's just it's how do you handle a situation like you make a big sweeping political move and then you have unforeseen consequences mm -hmm. do you think she handled it well like, i think she did yeah like go back with a contract right if she can keep that up Maybe she can be a good ruler. But there are like, other problems. I like how she handled it. There are other problems like um, dead kids. Her dragons. What happened? Yes, so was it just the one dragon? Just the one. The big one. The, the biggest one, the big black one. Okay. Uh, killed a three year old girl. Oh. And the father brought her in, and mm -hmm. it was really sad. It was really sad. So, but they can't find that dragon. No, correct? he's gone. Oh. I mean, it's like, you can't just say, like, come, dragon, come back. It's like, it's off there. It's, it's away. <laughs> um, no dog whistles for dragons. No. So then she locks up the other two, and it's also a very sad moment. They're like her babies. They are like her babies. And I love the irony of it, because she's, you know, she, her whole thing is she's the breaker of chains, right? She's freeing now slaves. she's locking her And then she's dragons. putting chains on her ah, dragon. Ooh, whoa. irony. Whoa. Blow your mind. <laughs> Hello. It's a fun little sequence. So now she's in Marine. What do you want? What do you want for her for next season? Now that she's ruling this city with no dragons and some a populace who's difficult to manage. I want her to. I don't know. I like. I love her. She's one of my favorites. Good. Come into her own a little more. Know how to handle these situations better. I mean, she lives, so you know that at least you right. get. But she'll have to go through. She'll have to go through the ringer, Kayla, like they all do. Gosh, what happens in the next two seasons? I mean, they find out who they are, and we find out who we are by watching them. Ugh. It's gonna be very I'm nervous. It's gonna be a growth experience for all of us, okay. especially you people. Um, let's let's go to, to the start of the episode. Okay. Where it picks up with at the end of the last one up at so we're in Marine to Castle Black yes. and the Wall. John goes beyond the wall to talk to. Mance Raider, the Wildling King. Mm -hmm. They talk a little bit, and who should come to the Night's Watch rescue but... Stannis. Stannis Baratheon and his army, and his creepy red witch lady, yep. and his horses. <clears throat> yes. You see that coming? I did not. I had no idea. I did, like... I can't... Because he said he's going to the Wall. It was a long time ago, though. I'll admit that. So maybe I... They could have done a better job of telegraphing it, but okay. maybe they want to keep it a secret. I don't know. Um, yeah, I was surprised, and the guy asked Jon Snow, like, is this your people? And he's like, no, I told you, we don't have enough men. Yeah, this um, is not lying. So, yeah, I did not see that coming. And but that kind of settled that. He, yeah, it, he did. He, he decimated them. <laughs> Let's solve that problem. The reason is they give us is the wildlings. You know, there's a ton of them, mm -hmm. but they're not soldiers, right? They're just like clumping up. And when they actually are confronted by like people on horseback and who are soldiers, they're like, I'm out. Like I'm gypsies. leaving. Like gypsies and tramps and thieves. They're just going to leave. <laughs> <laughs> and now Stannis is in Castle Black. 
So he has a new presence there. Him and his Melisandre and Davos and his wife and his daughter. They're all hanging out there. Gang's all there. How's that going to mix dynamics up? So is he going to take over the... I don't think he's going to take over. I mean, he's not in the Night's Watch, but okay. he did come here to help them because they asked for help. Mm-hmm. The reason he's here is because Sam and the old guy, Eamon, sent that letter, like, help us to anybody. Right. And he's the one who listened. Okay. Because Melisandre's like, oh, you must go. It's creepy up there. Huh. Um, I don't know how this is going to play out. I really don't. I hope Jon Snow plays a big part in it, though. I think we can rest assured about that. <laughs> okay, good. Um, but it was sad to see him have to right. burn, burn Ygritte. Ygritte. Go north of the wall. Yeah. So now that that whole thing has wrapped up, what should John take away from this uh, whirlwind romance and experience? Because it, it's, it, it's kind of the end of his little arc here. He went beyond the wall. He was with the wildlings for a long time. He was undercover. He came back. And now the wildling threat is over. Mm-hmm. Like they dispersed the army. It's done. I feel like he's going to be closed off now. To everybody? To Sam? To Not to Sam, but to any more love interests. Do you think he while? sympathizes with the wildlings now that he's been among them for so long, more than he would have otherwise? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, it's hard not to. Right. When you've had a, you know, really your first love, and I think his first sexual partner, too. <laughs> he was a virgin. <laughs> yes. And uh, so that's going to be hard to get over, and we'll see the consequences of that next year. There's consequences. There's always consequences. Ah. The final bit I want to talk really quickly is that creepy look he and Melisandre share across the fire. That was weird. Is they, it... have they, they haven't met before, no, right? Never okay. Before. I can't remember who. I'm thinking of Gendry. Gendry, that right. We haven't seen him in a while. Um, that was bizarre. She's creepy. I don't know what she has up her sleeve. You never do. It's hard to, it's hard to predict stuff with her. But they did put that in there for a reason. Okay. So Melisandre and Jon Snow are going to get creepy sometime soon. Oh, great. I mean, I think she's great because <laughs> you don't know what she's up to ever. I think she's exciting to watch because who knows what she'll do. Light somebody on fire, say some weird stuff. Who knows? Look into your eyes and protect your future. Anything. Um, okay. How about... The other kind of a big knockdown brawl this time in the Vale with the end of Arya and the Hound's little journey, their little road trip together this season. These are both two groups I like, so I didn't like them going at each other. Well, so what happened? So Arya and the Hound ran into some folk we know, right? Right. Brienne and Podrick. Right, who were trying to get to the Vale to, I guess, see if uh, Sansa was there. And they're right, ironically, I just don't know it. Oh, whatever. Um, <laughs> I was trying to see if there were any, like, the common stuff. Oh, okay. Um, so they immediately start fighting over Arya, pretty much, because Brienne says that she was, she promised her mother she would. Which she did. Do you think her. that could have been avoided? Because it, it kind of escalated quickly. Like, you know, because the Hound and Brienne both have Arya's best interest at heart, right? They mm-hmm. both want to protect her. Just... There was a, a, a bit of a, there was still a standoff. Why right. did that standoff happen? I don't know, because they don't have anyone to turn her into now. It's just a matter of staying true to your word, and the Hound wanted, obviously, a reward, um, which she... I mean, I think he started off like that, but I'm not sure by the end he was really interested They're in it buds. anymore. They're buds. They are buds. By the end of it, I mean, they I... They have an I, odd I, friendship. And he did say that he's the one watching over her now. Right. She said, but, you know, well, or he said, if that's what you care about, then you're not worried about watching her. That's a good point. Yeah. I mean, I think the problem is, you know, the Hound has a terrible reputation. Mm-hmm. He has killed people. Right. Like, that's his rep. Podrick knows it. Mm-hmm. So they don't want to trust him. And Brienne's carrying this Lannister sword. And we know that Lannisters so are bad. they don't trust them. Right. So it's just, sh- should they have just, like, just, I, I-, I wish they would have just sat down and said, like, let's just talk this out. Because right. I feel like they could have gone a little further They with were a little it. too quick to draw their swords. But, I mean, that... Pat's Arya, too. She's a violent little lady as well. <laughs> Feisty one, that And Arya and Brienne seem to, like, be connecting for a hot second they did. before that. Which, why not? Like, you know, a old... Like, Arya's always a tomboy. It's like Talking someone, it's someone she can emulate. love of fighting and how their dad told them not to, and then... It's, right. hard to, it's hard to find people you relate to in that level. True. So it's a shame that it came to blows instead. And a really vicious fight, I thought. It was gross. It was gross. It was like, biting and punching and... Smacking. Some Mike Tyson level ear. Right. Ear ripping. Biting. Ugh. Um, 
So yes, Brienne and Podrick run off. They can't find Arya. Arya goes to the Hound. He thinks he's dying, and he says, "Just kill me. Put the knife through my heart." And she doesn't. She doesn't. I thought, like I said earlier, she was going to go get help. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you were wrong. <laughs> she leaves him there to die. Why doesn't she kill him or get help? It, it's it's kind of like that's I the coldest that. thing she could have right. done. After all they had been through, after he had protected her, and. Mm-hmm. After they'd been on this journey for however long they had been on it, um, I didn't think it was. I don't know what I think because I'm glad she didn't kill him because now he has the chance to live. But then he's probably taking it as like, "Put me out of my misery. I'm suffering. Just kill me." Oh yeah, he wanted that. And then she left, making it look like she wanted him to suffer. So I don't get it. I don't get how they left. I mean, I think as few as we can take it. Remember, he was on her list for a while. Right. Like she. He killed her friend, and she doesn't, she doesn't forgive him. He reminded people. her of that at the end. He was like, this is why you should kill me. Oh, yeah, because he was trying to goad her into it. And I, I think she's been a bit confused. Like, I hate this guy, don't I? But she's confused herself. So she's not sure how to do it. I think part of her wanted to do it. I think part of her wanted to get help. I think she chose the path of least resistance, which is just walk away. Walk away. Isn't that a Kelly Clarkson song? song? I don't know, but I think you should (laughs) sing it anyway. And then the last image we see is uh, Arya getting on a boat and going where? What happened in that last scene? To Bravos. To Bravos, very good. (laughs) Um, Which is over here. Also on Essos, where Daenerys is located. Okay. Although it's a giant continent, so they're not going to like it. So we've got... Tyrion, Tyrion Arya, going to Pentos. Daenerys, all in the same continent. So yeah, Tyrion's if you will. there. Daenerys is there, and Arya will be there. All right. Remember, do you see how she paid for that boat trip? Oh, she uh, with the coin that one guy gave her, the right. Valor M- Morgulis. Morgulis. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> because, and he told her back in the day, like, give any guy from Bravos, say those words, and he'll take you there. Yeah. So I wonder, do you think she's trying to go find him? Where did he go? Back to Bravos. Turned into someone else and left. He did. I forget if he said he was going. I mean, he definitely told her he was from Bravos. Okay. So that's and also her. So she's going to find her buddy that helped kill people. <laughs> I mean, she's saved her she, life. She's still got a list, Kayla. True. True. Check off. Yes. Also, her her sword fighting teacher from the remember him, the sword fighting teacher from the very first season, the kind of Spanish guy with the perm and the beard. The one that dies. Yes. Yeah. I mean, he died. But he was from Bravos too. Okay. So she's been hearing about Bravos for a while. New adventure for Arya. New adventure for Arya. New adventure for everybody. It, it, it's this kind of a big movement. Like, everyone's going on some new stuff. That's true. What are you most excited for going forward? Or just most curious about? Most curious about Tyrion. No, fair I enough. Think. Yeah. Um, he can't really go back. Right. He's got... And then what they do in the aftermath of... Tywin's death? Tywin's death what Jamie and Cersei do. Who do you think would step into the power vacuum he leaves? I would assume Cersei. You'd probably assume right. <laughs> she seems She's not the type. Yeah. Uh, headstrong, yes. Anyway, um, that's season four. And we're glad you guys hope uh, someone will win this uh, coloring book. And next week we're going to do, we're going to do three. Three episodes? Yes. Whoa. Okay. We're going to have to, it's one of the two times we're doing three because we got to get through this before season seven premieres. So next week, it's going to be, be fun. a start of season five blowout. <laughs> Hope you guys join us at 4 p.m. on Wednesday. Any other comments we should respond to, Mark? Uh, last one, man. Oh, hooray. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think that's it. <laughs> yeah, just... Uh, in, in the new season seven figure, Jamie has a widow Walsh Alfred sword. That was a comment in that, in, in that pick from season seven, Jamie Lannister has Joffrey's old sword, Widow's Wail, which he does. Lauren he doesn't need it anymore. What do you think uh, Arya would have thought if she knew Brienne's sword used to be Rob's? Ooh. Was Brienne's? I, 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 uh, the question was, what would Arya have thought if she knew Brienne's sword used to be Rob's? Um, it wasn't Rob's, it used to be Ned's. Mm-hmm. Valyrian steel. Valyrian steel. Because <laughs> Ned had that giant long sword, it was like a big old long sword ice. They, that was the sword he got headed with. And then Tywin melted it down, made it into two swords. Brienne has one of them. Okay. 
It's still a Lannister sword, though. That, I mean, that's a good point. If only someone had pointed that out. Brienne should have pointed these things out. <laughs> Why is it Brienne thinking? You gotta... She's not great at, like, with kids, maybe. She's maybe, like, yes. Maybe she has a hard time. Some folk are like that. Children. Like, they're just not good with children or something. <laughs> she seems like she'd be awkward around them. Possibly. Or people in general. What are you guys going to do once Kayla's caught up? I mean... Watch season seven? Yeah. The, the week <laughs> Kayla is caught up is... I, I've timed this all out. Is the week Dan's that season it, seven starts. So we're going to go right from the season six finale to the season seven premiere. And we hope you guys join us. It's going to be a good time. <laughs> After that, who knows? What are we going to talk about? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Figure it out. I'm not a miracle worker. Rewatch. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week, uh, Wednesday at 4 o'clock, for more Wick Live, more news, more analysis, more prognostication for the new season. <laughs> see you then. Adios.